Hello dear 8th graders, how are you guys? I hope everything fine with you. Let's solve some more exercise over here about our last class and understand a little bit better about the thing we're working on it. Great! Here I have some word problems I would like to solve this with you. Let's do it quickly and easily. Great! The sum of two numbers is 20. The difference between three the, the difference between three times the first number and the twice the second is 40. Find the two numbers. Great. We read the first time. Let's read again and got the most important four motions we can do it over here. But let define our variable. Okay, let x let x be my first number and let y be my second number. I have both variables over here. Let's understand and read this thing. The sum of two numbers is 20. Wow, nice. I know this already like the other ones. It is x, let's see here, x plus y equals 20. Great, number 5. And as you notice over here, the difference, I know, is a subtraction. The difference uh, between uh, the difference between three times the first number, three times the first number, three x, and okay here is my subtraction because it's the difference, and twice the second, two y's, oh, two y's, it is forty. Let's find the numbers we're working on it. Great. If you see line up, okay, the, the variables is line up, the x line up, y line up, and here uh, numbers line up equals sign line up. Let's see the coefficient. The, we do we have max over here? The coefficient are common? Nope. I have here three in x and two in y. Which one I pick? Let's pick two. It's easily. Let's use two. Great. Let's multiply everything here, the first one by 2. 2 times x, 2x. 2 times y, 2y's. 2 times 20, it is 40. We know it's 40. And, nice. Let's, what do I have to do? What math operation? Let's add. Why add, mister? Here I have positive 2 and negative 2. They're opposite. It's pretty easy we, to eliminate adding. 2x plus 3x, it is 5x. Here, goodbye, 0 equals 40 plus 40, it is 80. How many times 5 goes into 4, 80? It is, it is pretty simple, guys. If you remember, 5x, it is 16. x equals 16, the first number. And the second number, mister, let's use the value we got here, x equals 16, the first equation. Who is my first equation? Did you remember? Yes, I remember. It is, let me write here, it is x plus y equals 20. But instead of to write x, I need to write 16. Let's do it. Let's do it here. Oh, that's not working properly. Okay, here it is. Here, I will write number 16. And let's solve right now. Let's move 16 by opposite. It is negative 16. Negative 16. It is the solution. Y equals 4. And the both numbers here, it is 16 and 4. Great. Number 6. The sum of two numbers is 25. Oh, let, let me define our variable. Guys, I will not write here, but my, my first number is X. My second number is Y. Great. As you know, the like we did here in 5, I do the same thing here. The sum of two numbers is 25. X plus Y equals 25. Great. On number is twice the second number plus 7. What does it mean? It is one number. On number, I've got X here. X is, or is, if I remember, is equal sign. Is twice the second number two y's uh, plus seven plus seven great here's my equation let's solve right now 
uh, let's see if it is, everything is lined up x x okay and uh, equal sign here no they're not lined up what i need to do let's move this 2y by opposite it is negative 2y's move over here it is x x minus 2y's equals 7 7 keep it over there and the first equation we have already it is x plus y equals 25 and just solve it let's solve this one how can i solve this guy over here pretty simple mister let's subtract uh, you i will subtract yes mister subtract because the second both equation coefficient here is matching and i need to eliminate x minus x goodbye nothing y minus negative two y's positive two y's y plus two y's it is three y's equals 25 minus 7 35 minus 7 it will be uh, 18 how many times 3 goes into 18 it is y equal 3 oh sorry 6 my bad 6 y equals 6 let me just erase this thing nice well, it's working y equals 6 great and and guys attention over here i use the value for y is 6 in the first equation Great. I know the first equation is x plus y. I write here x plus y. Oh, I would not write y here, guys. What I will write? I will write number six because I figure out and I discovered this number six. Let's move six by opposite. The opposite for six is negative six. Negative six. Oops. Oops, my bad, guys. Let me turn over here. Nice, nice. Now it's better. Uh, it is negative 6, nice, here goodbye, 25 minus 6, it is, it is 19, and here's the variable guys, 19 and 6, and I got the numbers over here, great, that's it, we have this video here, you can enjoy, learn a little bit more, we have more exercise guys, if you need the answer key, please let me know, I'll send it to you, great, see you next class guys, Bye-bye.